black, which means that perhaps something genetic happened to me when I saw Trump's mugshot. All I know is that I wasn't expecting this reaction that I had. Obviously, we all saw the news articles leading up to the fact that Trump was going to be arrested, and it was depressing. It was. I remember sitting there going, this is depressing. You know, I don't even talk too much about politics on the show anymore because I find the entire climate to be somewhat depressing. And I haven't really been wearing my MAGA gear or anything of that nature as I was a few years ago because of this kind of permanent state of sadness, almost like taking the black pill when it comes to politics. And so I was dreading this day. I didn't even want to talk about it when it came. It felt to me that it was going. To, I was going to feel like it was just first and foremost a day which will live in infamy and also just the end of our country really truly we've become like russia you know the department of justice is being run corruptly how could you be so corrupt that you would arrest what once was a sitting president i mean even presidents in the past that have committed crimes there's been this understanding that well once you become the president you just kind of get off people don't look at you anymore it didn't matter what bill clinton was up to what hillary clinton was up to there's a reason nobody cared about her emails it's because she was the first lady you know, it's not something that's appropriate. Nobody should be above the law, but we, we understood this. And then Trump became president, everything changed. So I was expecting that once he got arrested, that's how I would feel. Like I didn't want to talk about his mugshot because I was going to be in this state of sadness. But that's not what happened. It's weird. Like I said, I don't know if it was genetic. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> when I first saw the mugshot, and I'm going to show it to you, here it is. The emotions I went through just wasn't what I was expecting, guys. <laughs> no, this is true. This is very true. But I don't think it's just black people who had this reaction. You know, when I saw this uh, picture, I immediately saw Don Vito and Michael Corio uh, Corleone type gangster. Not gangsta. Gangster. Because those types of gangsters are very different than gangsters. Um, gangsters, the Corleone type gangsters, they plan and execute with precision. And that picture told me that those people trying to frame him, destroy his life and destroy his family for standing up for America are in some serious dog shit. This is what this, <laughs> this picture told me. I think the next few months leading up to the election are going to be historic for America. And they done mess with the wrong man. That's what I think. I saw this mug shot and I went, that's kind of cool. <laughs> just, I don't know why. It was just my instinct. I went, he looks cool in this mug shot. He looks hard. He looks rock and roll. He looks like he is bucking the establishment. I want to be like Trump for the first time in years. I said, I want this on a sweatshirt. I want to wear this. This feels punk rock. I didn't, I didn't know if that was how everybody else was going to feel about it. I just knew that I thought it was kind of amazing. Yeah, I didn't even care about the trust system. I didn't care. I, I said, this is obviously going to be a win for Trump. Because look at his face there. The face he's making there. It's just, it's just, I don't know if he practiced that face. His hair looks good. He looks like he's lost some weight. He looks serious. He looks hardened. He looks ready to go to battle and we all know that these charges are ridiculous if we know it's ridiculous that they're even taking a mugshot of trump they're just so vindictive they couldn't help themselves and it turns out i am not the only black person in america who thought this was pretty cool so we're going to go through all these responses that <laughs> like i said i don't think it's just black people i think that people who have been watching very closely and seeing what has been going on, they're pissed. I'm pissed because something is not right. And you have to be living in, uh, you know, a secure chamber in Mars not to see that something isn't right. And when something isn't right, you find out what's wrong and you work to see what you can do to correct the shit. Something is not right. We saw we gathered as many as we possibly could for you guys because as I said they are glorious they are amazing they make me happy and warm on the inside because my frustration with black America has been that black lives matter turned black Americans into a bunch of wine babies and cry babies and that's just not who we are culturally we're funny we are funny people we are the people that make you laugh we see the humor we have an angle we tell the truth and 
this mug shot revived the black America that I love. So first and foremost, just so you are aware, Trump had to drive through pretty much the worst part of Fulton County to get arrested and booked on these charges. So black America showed up and lined the streets. Take a look. Now, Trump um, got pretty high uh, numbers in black votes uh, in the 2020 election. I think it was the highest of uh, for Republican presidents in the 2010 um, uh, presidential uh, elect, uh, you know, people who are running in the Republican Party. I think he got the highest amount of black uh, votes in a couple of in few de- decades. But I think that 2024 will be much higher among black men and black women. Um, It seems like, you know, black women are slow to turn away from the Democratic Party. And I don't know what it's going to take for you all to realize that they are not your friend. They are not your friend. Um, And what woke me up was that the news media started doing Trump like they were doing black people for decades. You know, they would make shit up. um, And then when the truth came out, they would not even take steps to correct it. It was always lopsided making to make you look a certain way in the media. And then, you know, after the truth came out, then they didn't even bother to go back and retract and give it the same type of publicity that they um, had initially given it to make people's uh, perspective and, and viewpoint of you uh, skewed in a certain way. So I recognized from 2016 through 2020, through both his impeachment trials uh, and everything else they try to throw at him, that that was what was going on. Um, And they were treating Trump like he was black. So that is when I started to pay attention. I wasn't paying attention before. But when someone in that power, in that position, gets treated like, you know, the lowest people in the society, according to the news media. Because the news media has always been racist. Now, so I'm not one for yelling racism when there is no racism, but the news media in general ha- has been a tool to separate us um, on every grounds there is there there is to separate people, and they've always played a race game, and they've always been unfair to black people, and so then when we recognize that they were treating Trump like he was black in the media we knew something was wrong and then you start to pay attention at that point when you wake up and start paying attention then you see all the lies the lies become more um, prominent and then you start to do your own investigation and then you realize well you know what they this wasn't true like even in the both impeachment trials, stuff they were saying was not true. They have yet to retract all the lies they told on this man to destroy his life. So then you have to think, why are they working in concert so badly to destroy this man? Why? So I had a rude, rude awakening during 216 to 220 because I saw how they treated that man. And I knew something was not right. And he gained my respect during... I mean, I love Trump from before. Because before 2020... I'm sorry, before 2016, Trump was a gangsta. Because he was hanging out with all the black rappers and all that stuff. They were making music about him. Trump was an American icon. And loved him or hate him, you knew him. And so now all of a sudden he's a racist and all of a sudden he's this and all of a sudden he's the, 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 you know, 
colluding with Russia and trying to take America down when he is the one actually trying to make America something for all of us to continue to be proud of. Which one are you in though? Okay, okay. And as if that wasn't great enough, he gets booked, his mugshot is released, and now, of course, there's there's, there's rap songs being made about him. Take a listen. Orange man bad, the whole world mad, thug life, shout out all of my MAGA base sheds. Coming for the deep state, I will stop the new world order. But before that, I'll finish Wells at the border. Orange man bad, the whole world mad. <laughs> this is just absolutely genius. And now you have to see the responses online. We're just going to let this run for you because it's amazing. As black people, you know, we f with Trump. Yeah, I f with Trump. I don't know why everybody got against him. Yo, he was making f the breadwinners, you heard? I'm a Democrat too, but f it, we Trump. We Trump back in office right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I f with Trump, to be honest with you. Bro, for real, Trump really did this I like him because he's about money. It wasn't about no politics. He wanted to make America great again. Through Trump. I'm like, Trump, we making sure they get their bread. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking Trump for life. Trump for life. I ain't gonna lie. Blood Donald Trump. Trump wanted us to get off our ass and get some money. Trump. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> they hate this man. And they, they're trying to make black people hate this man, but you know, uh, if you're paying attention, it, it's the same Trump that has always been Trump. And like I said, you love him or hate him, but, you know, he's going to tell you how it is and, you know, what it's like. And <laughs> he's going to tell you the truth. And that's what he's been doing. And, you know, if you're paying attention and not getting caught up in the, this uh, liberal media foolishness, to try and smear him, then you'll see. Open your eyes and see, and figure out why they're trying their damnedest to destroy this man. 2024. Is it true? You made everybody hold a piece of money. I'm Trump real up balls. Trump running it how it's supposed to be ran, and people. Take it. And he putting out facts in front of the people. He ain't lying to the people. People just don't want to accept the truth. Trump man, we rocking. That's exactly right. He put it out truthfully to the people. Truthfully to the people. Now, whether you believe that there is a shadow government or what have you running shit, that has always been a conspiracy theory in among black people. That that when you elect a president they're not the really the ones running shit and basically now that's why they're after trump because trump was like i'm not with this i'm for the the people i'm not with this shadow government bullshit i'm for the people so that's why they are now uh going after him in every which way shape or form but that picture like I said, <laughs> that would, that's some Corleone type gangster looking picture means I'm coming after you. Every last one of you. And if anyone knows anything about Trump, he does not stop until he gets the last person. What you say, you Trump? My dog. T, what's up? put America first. Like the 2024, my brother. They know they can't get him from none of the world. <laughs> we get it, game. Yeah. I ain't used to like that. But now, I realize that he meant well for the country and shit, bro. We need that back. Free Trump. Trump 2024. They are tricked y'all dumb get Trump out the chair. And now look how that backfired on y'all dumb Trump got my Trump for life. Donald Trump. He showed his love. And he didn't stop. 2024 Trump. Trump 2024. we from Baltimore. I ain't gonna lie. Trump, my mother. No. <laughs> um, they talk about Trump, he's probably the best thing for America right now, no cap. Really. Trump. My man Trump, he's gangster. I like him. I love him. Make America great again. Let's go.
Trump 2024, Trump 2028, Trump 2032. Man, listen, Trump for life. Yo, I'm I'm about to get me my free Trump Trump 2024 2024 until t-shirt made up with that mugshot on there. That is iconic. And I'm here for it. I'm ready. So I think there's some stuff that's going to go down. You all need to, you know, really do your research. Stop listening to these people because they are lying on this, these news channel. They're still lying. And they're not doing honest journalism. You know, I was a journalism student um, in uh, college. And even the fundamentals of journalism, these people are not doing. So they're not honest. They're not honest people. And then, then you have to realize then, then if they're not doing journalism honestly, why? Why are they all getting together to try and destroy this one man? Why? I'm about to order me some my Trump t-shirt. And <laughs> I'm about to watch what's going down for the next, uh, from here until the election. Because I think we're in for a ride.